Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. And if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. Greatly appreciate it if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today we'll be talking about this Rolex, uh, the Date Just 36. This one with a smooth yellow gold bezel, champagne dial, diamond hour marks with a Noyster bracelet, two-tone, what they call the um, Rolexor type of model. Basically, just the Rolex name for two-tone model. All right, so again, I'll be going over the case, the dial, the bezel, the crown, func the crown functions, as well as the movement and this bracelet. And I'll be giving my thoughts on these throughout this video. So starting off with this case, it's in the name 36, date just 36, 36 millimeters from finger to thumb. That's the two o'clock to eight o'clock position. Also the 10 o'clock to four o'clock position, same 36 millimeters, same diameter. You also have the monoblock middle case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown to ensure water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. Taking a look at the case itself, it's all stainless steel or as Rolex calls it, oyster steel. That is basically their own version of steel and other minerals to create this super high polish that, well, it's kind of concealed by these stickers, but you can you can kind of see it a bit in those tiny spaces there. It's, it's incredibly high polish, very, very radiant, and shines with a very, very nice luster in any sort of lighting condition, All right? And it also maintains that same uh, durability that you've come to expect from Rolex models. Sitting on the front of this case though, we do have a yellow gold bezel, has the same sort of high polish finish that you would find on that stainless steel, complete with my fingerprints of course. All right, so it looks very, very nice and quite, well, not all that common actually to see on date just, although Rolex do offer this. Typically, uh, the more, more demand seems to be around the fluted bezels, but something about the yellow gold bezel here on this model makes it sort of a little bit more radiant than you would expect because of the champagne dial and the sort of two-tone nature of the bracelet. And speaking of the dial, we do have the champagne uh, sunray or sunburst type of dial here, all right, matching with the yellow gold, giving it a very, very extremely like blinged out look almost, especially with these uh, diamonds for the hour marks visible at any angle as long as you have light with 18 karat yellow gold settings as well. All set hand placed and uh, regularly shaped and regularly placed as well. You have the Rolex crown logo and the date aperture at the three o'clock, 12 o'clock and three o'clock respectively. Small on the dial, you have that date aperture there. And you also have a, a, an enlarged version under the Cyclops lens, directly part of the Sapphire Crystal, which is glare resistant and scratch resistant as well. So it'll slide under a suit cuff quite nicely. Taking a look at the functions of this watch here, simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock. So if your watch is at a dead stop, about 20 to 30 full winds at this first position allows you to wind the watch to its full power capacity. Rather simple there. So once you start feeling the damping and the resistance starting to ramp up toward the end, you'll know that you've reached the full power reserve. Rather simple there. Pull the crown out to the next position. You can advance the date by one. It's about a quarter turn to advance the date. Just rotate it clockwise and there you go. Rather simple as well. And this is a quick set date and you can do it at any time of the day as well. If you find yourself on the 30th of an irregularly numbered month, like April for example, just move it over once, wait for the hour hand to pass midnight or vice versa and you'll be on the first of the next month nice and easy. Pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand does in fact stop, so you can then place the minute hand precisely wherever it needs to go. Now, thanks to this style, there's also a minute track at the, at the peripheral, so you do have that added sense of precision, so that when you place the minute hand wherever it needs to go, it'll be much easier. Synchronize it up to an atomic clock, press the crown back in when you're ready to start up that seconds hand once more, nice and synchronized. And be sure to wind the crown tightly back against the case to ensure that superior water resistance. So what makes all of this work on the inside, it is the 3235. To no one's surprise, if you've seen Datejust videos before, it's always the 3235, at least, you know, the modern ones, the most modern ones, uh, made in-house by Rolex, the caliber with the perpetual mechanical and self-winding with the precision 
uh, within a plus or minus two second per day time differential, giving it that official superlative chronometer certification as printed on this and every Rolex dial. You also have the uh, center hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous date with the rapid setting and the stop seconds for precise time setting. All of those features I had just demonstrated. You also have the oscillator on the inside. You can't see through the case back because you do have that added, the added security of the uh, solid steel case back. You do have the paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with the high performance Paraflex shock absorbers. So what that means is that you can get relatively close to magnets and take a few bumps here and there. They'll be keeping track of time just fine. No need to worry about the timekeeping abilities of the movement inside. It also has a center mounted bi-directional self winding perpetual rotor, meaning that basically you just wind the watch manually once using the winding crown and just wear it on your wrist. And the natural movements of your wrist will move that perpetual rotor around winding the mainspring barrel which then charges the watch so that you don't even need to wind it and it goes all the way up to the natural power reserve the maximum power reserve being about 70 hours so that's basically three whole days that means you can set this down on a friday evening pick it back up on a sunday or even monday morning no need to wind the watch just wear it all day monday and you're good to go and take a look at the overall framing here while i'm zoomed out you can see that there are uh, oyster link oyster links on this bracelet so flat three-piece links across high polish uh, yellow gold down the center links with satin brush steel finish on the outer links with high polish on their sides you have the oyster folding clasp here with the raised Rolex crown logo. Just lift the top to open it, unhook it from the clasp there, nice and easy. You have the Rolex stamped logo on the inside and you're dealing with a full steel construction here. All right, now taking a look underneath the clasp here, if you have this sized perfectly to your wrist, nice and snug, well, your wrist is going to swell occasionally and that's due to the environment, your, your hydration levels, etc. And so basically if you ever start feeling a little bit uncomfortable because this watch is starting to feel a little tight on your wrist, just simply reach under here, pull straight out. There you go. Another half oyster link. All right. So that gives you another five millimeters of comfort extension. It basically means you can continue to wear your watch regardless of condition. All right. And when you no longer need it anymore, simply fold it back in on itself, press it back into the clasp, and you're good to go. And while I'm here, I'll try it on, give you my thoughts as to how it wears on my wrist, seven inches in circumference, all right? And if you've seen my videos before, especially on this channel, well, you'll know that it's no secret that I do like the 36 millimeter case size. For me, it's the sort of sweet spot because I do get a very nice framing of the 12 and six o'clock sides from the bracelet and the dial still incredibly easy to read, even though it's not a 31, it's not a 41, 36 somewhere in the middle so you do get a very good overall compositional look for even the dial markers because as you get smaller the dial markers stay the same and well it starts to get a little bit crowded on the dial when you get bigger dial configurations the hour marks still stay the same and they they get a little uh, far apart it feels a little uncomfortable for me 36 feels just right and just just as well taking a look at it, the overall color composition here it's basically all gold and diamonds in the center sort of radiating outward giving you these nice accents going straight down the wrist so quite a very good visual look here from this rolex date just 36 just looks very good has a very like bright uh, very warm tone just emanating from the center going outward and it just looks feels very good as well taking a look at it straight down the wrist though tiny bit of space under the lugs i'd say nice and perfect there because well you do get the spacing that you would get from the oyster bracelet zero tolerance on these links basically means that these links will never pinch your skin they'll never pull out hairs because they'll maintain the space throughout their lifetime so you can continue to wear this around your wrist without basically breaking out a sweat and taking it off later having a sweat of band having a band of sweat around your wrist that won't happen with this oyster bracelet and looks amazing on the outside feels even better on the inside all right, so that's enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this Rolex Datejust 36 with the smooth yellow gold bezel. This one, the champagne dial and diamond hour marks, two-tone bracelet. 
with the oyster bracelet, of course. Let us know down in the comments below if you like this video, happen to enjoy it, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, new, used, discontinued, we, if we don't have one sitting on our desk right now, we can get one for you, no problem. So visit our store at jazztime.com, links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest possible price anywhere online. Take care, we'll see you in the next one. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.